Assalamualaikum. So, um, traveling. It's not so far from home, but I'm so shy. <laughs> I feel like somebody is watching me. But yeah, ni me pigya luku safi sana, but I'm so shy. I can't even film here. I just want to get out of this place, and then I'll tell you guys about it all. Hi guys, so the video you just saw is a scene of me coming out to the road and I thought I would uh, be able to talk to you guys but I couldn't make a proper intro because I was shy, I felt like people were staring so I had to create a voiceover. So guys, in this video I'm going to share with you my experience uh, in uh, traveling a solo trip to Bora Bora Wildlife Park. So as you see, it's so, so far. So you have to invest a lot in the transport and also the entrance fee. So we are almost there. So I feel like I should create a separate video to just talk to you guys about the expenses and how to prepare for a solo trip and everything. Something else I have to mention, I had to crop this video to compress it so that it won't be too long it was actually one hour video so i had to shrink it cut so many parts until it went to 26 minutes so you guys please make sure you watch all of it inshallah and let's get started thank you so much so hi guys um i've already done the payment for the I don't know the tour <laughs> or yeah the tour or the view I don't know you can choose what to use yeah so it's actually 750 and it's because this is a private um, park it's not like government parks in, in government parks they usually charge 250 but this one is 750 and I was prepared for 250 because I thought this was somehow a government park but then I have been uh, given clarity on that yeah so right now there aren't so many people <laughs> so i want to take this chance to try to do this alone uh this is a solo tour and i want to have fun even though i'm alone actually i i, I reached out to several people and asked them to join me but then people are busy everyone is having their own stuff and we have different uh, free times yeah and that is part of um that is part of adulthood like everyone has their own free time because we handle different stuff yeah so right now i'm going to uh to the office back to the office and i'll ask them to assign me a tour guide and then i'll start yeah Bismillah. so guys i forgot to say this so i am carrying this backpack I told you guys uh, this will be a solo tour and because they wanted to be comfortable I had to do my research and listen to other vloggers uh, on what they say about uh, getting ready for solo trips so I have this backpack inside here I have my earphones I also have uh, my lunch box snacks I also have water and they prefer uh, water bottles instead of the plastic bottles because of there's, there's too much plastic uh, in the world yeah so i also have my travel notebook in case i find anything amazing yeah i also have this just in case i'm supposed to pray and it's prayer time yeah my earphones my charger what else do i have vaseline <laughs> okay that's it yeah so i was so creepy about being alone doing this alone and because i've never done a solo tour but uh, having started it alhamdulillah i already feel very comfortable and i'm enjoying this already so i'm now going out i forgot to show you this bag this bag contains my phone my handkerchief and the camera stand i'm holding right now here so guys this is eric he's going to be my tour guide say hi eric hi yeah and silas silas the guy who yeah runs the whole thing here they are so warm and welcoming and so the first animal i got to see was a turtle yes, so yeah, in this video so the tour guide uh, eric was explaining to me everything about turtles how they their characteristics their uh, survival mechanisms and all that stuff so 
Mr. Turtle was saying hi to us. Yeah. So guys, I'm also using a uh, voiceover and instead of music because some of these music clips you use could be copyrighted and then your videos might not be monetized by YouTube. So they also have washrooms. So I'm going inside a female's washroom and their washrooms are very, very clean. So it's safe to come here. So at this very moment, we are heading to the wild pig zone. So what you are seeing in front of you is the male pig and there is a female pig lying on the mud. So basically the same thing happened here. Eric, the tour guide, was explaining to me the characteristics of these wild pigs, their survival mechanism, and the other stuff. Yeah, so the female wild pig was asleep at that moment. Yeah. So at this very moment, we are heading to the wild birds zone. So one thing that stood out for me is the male peacock in this zone. The male peacock is so said to be very colorful here. and beautiful, more than or the female eggs. peacock. So the female peacocks the, usually uh, select their uniforms? husbands, if I can use and that word, instead of the other way around. So many birds, but the peacock stood out for me. That's why I know their whole story. Guys, rabbits, rabbits. I really love the white color of these rabbits. They are so different from those rabbits we see in animations. They are so quite composed. The red eyes are so scary but cute at the same time. Yeah, I really wanted to touch them. But then it's against the protocols of KWS. So I couldn't touch any of them. Rules can be broken. The other reason I didn't uh, touch the rabbits or carry them is because they have claws and I was told once you carry them, they can yeah, yeah. use the claws to harm you and I'm not a fan of being harmed, so I had to let Sorry? go. So here we are at no. the uh, crocodile zone. So Eric was showing me the... What's the name again? hatchlings you had that right so yeah so hatchlings. i was supposed to carry this they one but then <laughs> i couldn't too because you know to me so a crocodile is just a crocodile no matter how young it is yeah. so maybe next time i'll try carrying one of them with my with my yeah with my, yeah, with my hands but this wasn't just that day for me so now go back no, you can cool the temperatures, yeah, really. uh, Just come this side. <laughs> Don't go close to the fence. Shika, you know, go and I'm touching you. How is it, Puma? How is it, Puma? You can't do anything. Oh so guys, they oh, also have three <laughs> big <laughs> female crocodiles <laughs> and one male. As you, as you but then we couldn't take a close view here, but we had the chance to take a better view later on because one of them was yeah, sunbasking. Yeah, so that is Mr. Crocodile there. His mouth is wide open. I'm told they do that so that they can cool down their temperatures. Yeah. Zebras, zebras, zebras. So these are the most beautiful uh, wild animals. That is what uh, Eric, the tour guide, told me. Yeah, and from... Uh, our studies and from how we always admire zebras i think they're just beautiful because of how they are calm quiet yeah so the same thing was going on here uh eric the tour guide was telling me the characteristics why they why they have the black and white strips their survival mechanism how they are calm but they're still wild animals and they can kick you so badly if you get close so that's why i wasn't uh able to go so close to them so here they are so beautiful and they are grazing yeah mm. okay
from the label this is the tortoise drive or tortoise zone so they keep uh two types of tortoise do we say tortoise or tortoises <laughs> that will be your homework okay so they keep uh leopard tortoise i missed that so many times when i was being asked questions so this tortoise has a cracked skin i'm told before it came here it was beaten by a lion so that is why it cracked man it's so hard being a wild animal yeah so that is it about the tortoise it's like it's a very quiet zone and everything is so slow and so many of these guys were in their shells because the weather was super hot so they were just inside their shells so that they can protect themselves from the uh hot climate so they only have one different tortoise i can't remember the name but it's the smallest the rest of them are the leopard tortoise and the same ha happened here. I was told about the characteristics of tortoise, their survival mechanisms and it's just a place where you learn so much about other beings, the animals. So the, the reason they are called leopard tortoise is because they have a leopard kind of skin like their skin is dotted 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 like the leopard skin so at this moment i was heading to one of the camps i asked the tour guide to help me find a place where i could pray duhur and alhamdulillah he helped me yeah, they are nice. get one of the camps that is under renovation so i just uh, cleared out the dust at the place where i was praying and alhamdulillah i got to pray duhur hi guys so i'm done praying so i'm going to lay out and where we are going to go next I'm so thirsty so they also have a nature trail and in this nature trail you can find baboons butterflies snakes too but they say the snakes are not the poisonous ones but they are still snakes you know yeah so we didn't get to the end of the nature trail because uh, the tour guide Eric said it was so so far and it would be better if we were a group and it would be fun if we were a group and I just uh, wanted also to be uh, comfortable you know going on a long journey when you are a group is so much better than when you are just uh, alone or just you and the tour guide so we just reached to a place where i could take very good photos and then we went back and i was so happy when i got to this place i was so so happy so so happy so so happy <laughs> hey guys so i'm really really having fun I thought it would be boring me coming out on a tour alone, but Allah, I'm really having fun, alhamdulillah, yani. and these people are so warm welcoming, they are so nice, like the guy I'm uh, working with has been taking the video for me, the photos, yeah, so Insha they are Allah, so Insha warm welcoming, and I invite you guys to come over here, of course this won't be my first time coming here, I'm going to come here and try their camping uh, services, you said there's camping and there's what? Camping. Team building. Yeah, team building. And also we have the restaurant, but not yet. Yeah, I mean, yeah. After two months or three months, that's why I'm operational. Yeah. So, Hi, guys. <laughs> Hi. This is my very good friend, guys. <laughs> love you. Yes. Love you. Meski, Alko. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Bora bora to our guys. Yes. Next time you come, and you, you come, uh -huh. you have to ask about uh, Eric. Eric. Yes. So, the nature trail is long. 
Um, yeah, so I don't know. We should not go on. Sindo. <laughs> I don't know. Say that you want it to go, you go. If you don't want, you can mm. go back to the gira. My phone is low. Yeah, my battery, my phone's battery is low. So let's just go get the giraffe and then we'll see what's next. So. <laughs> we are taking a walk on the nature trail. Yes. A very cool so area. one thing Beautiful. I yeah, realized in this solo trip is that I'm so comfortable around strangers because they can't judge me or they can't expect anything from me. So it's so uh, easy to be yourself and just enjoy every moment and have fun to your uh, best. So yeah, so it was so easy for me to be myself and alhamdulillah I was being myself the whole time because this is me like this is the most authentic me that came out in this uh solo trip from the photos I took from how I dressed from how I was carrying out myself like this is just me and maybe it would have been different had I been uh in a group with friends you know people have different opinions and sometimes you just have to act like other people not that necessarily but sometimes you can do that without even noticing so basically this was one of the best trips I've ever taken solo trips are very good for me from now henceforth so these are the camps that are were already renovated so they are ready and if you come uh request for camping they can accommodate you so i didn't ask about the price of the camps but i got inside of course i took photos outside the one of the camps and it was so so amazing and those photos were just so beautiful and i posted uh them on instagram and on my whatsapp poll so you can go check them on instagram they are there yeah so these uh camps are usually for two people couples mostly yeah but of course you can also go with a friend and then you just share a bed inshallah inshallah may we come to this place may i visit this place Bismillah. So this is just me having fun, having fun, having fun, because that is my thing and I'm that is what fun. we should all do, like just have fun in your own way. So I was running to go hug the giraffe, but then I was too to go too close because they could give me a very nice kick and they could end up in the uh, hospital. But alhamdulillah, the giraffe was so humble and... We made eye contact. I know I wasn't hallucinating. Like we made eye contact with the giraffe and then he just came towards me. He wanted me to feed him. And I felt so humbled. I felt so honored. Like that look just melted my heart. <laughs> I'm not crazy, but I was so happy at that moment. You know, there's a reason why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created animals. Uh, animals that we can keep even though they are wild animals there's a reason behind that and i believe the reason uh one of the reason is that he wanted us to gain something by interacting with them which is a happiness like my happiness hormones on this day were just boosted to a very high extent alhamdulillah <clears throat> and I went out of this place. I was so happy and so humbled to have interacted with these other beings, the wild animals. Alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah. So let's keep feeding the guy. We took uh, very nice photos here too. You can see them on my IG account at Right with Mana. So we were done with the tour. It was so, so saddening for me. It was a very sad moment. The last thing we were to do was swinging. So I went and I was on the swing. Yeah. And Alhamdulillah, the tour guide was helping me take uh, good photos. 
and also take a vi videos from my youtube channel and these guys like all of them from the manager to the tour guides all of them subscribed to my youtube channel subhanallah and i felt so honored and really really humbled by all this experience alhamdulillah 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 and may allah grant jannah to these people and may allah grant them everlasting and genuine happiness like they made me happy on this day yeah so we went on swinging as uh we were as eric was taking me very nice photos alhamdulillah so after swinging i went to one of the lunch desks and i yeah i ate hi guys so now um we are done with the trip or we're done with the tour and eric my tour guide has just left mashallah yani, he has been amazing he has been so kind to me and I know it is his job, but it just means a lot when somebody is kind to you. Alhamdulillah. So I'm seated here and <clears throat> I want to take my snacks and eat. I called the Boda Boda guy to come and pick me up. It's a very long distance from here to the road. Very, very long distance. It's 150 from here to the road. Yeah. So basically with me, I just have some Swahili breakfast snacks. I just wanted to bring them here. I'm not so hungry. Usually I... I prefer salty food when I'm traveling, but then I had to uh, come with this and all of them happen to be sugary food stuff. Yeah, so I'm going to give you guys a look of what I have. So it's actually Kaimati, Vitumbua and Mkatewa Sinia. Yeah, so this is what I'm having. I know I won't finish all of them. I, I'll have to go and um, eat some of them at home. I'm not so hungry because I, I took a very heavy breakfast. So guys, the reason as why I carried food is because it wasn't in my budget for me to spend heavily on food because I knew that the food would be expensive. You should expect something like that, especially if you come to uh, places like this. Yeah, so you should expect the food from the restaurants to be expensive. So if you can afford well and good, if you can carry some of the food from home, then it will be a better thing to do. Something else also is carry your own water because of course buying water is also expensive so it's a way of minimizing and making um okay i wanted to spend mainly on the transport and the entrance fee i didn't want to spend on water or food so that's why i had to carry all that stuff uh from home i carried my water all the way from home carried my food from home yeah so otherwise it has been so fun you guys being on this solo trip i've really any i have really enjoyed okay i know with the view you might not have a good view in the videos but coming here, you know, some of these wild animals, you can't go close to them. Like the crocodiles, we couldn't go close. You know, like uh, the zebras or the wild pigs. Like some of the animals or even the peacocks, we, we were not allowed to go very close. So you guys, the ones who are watching the video, you might not have the best uh, view. But then I advise you guys to come here and you'll have the real view. And I feel so refreshed. I feel so amazing. Wallahi. And I'm just... <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just happy normally i like to unplug from the world uh, noise you know there's so much noise in the world sometimes you just have to go to a place and just shout it out and yeah just yeah unplug for a little bit i know this this usually helps me become more creative it also teaches me a lot it makes me interact with new people and i just love everything and i also have beautiful photos for my instagram wall maybe those watching me think that i'm insane oh my god I'm talking to myself. So guys, I feel that I should be wrapping this video up. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you share this with your friends and family and you leave this world one day. So make sure you leave um like leave it to your best. Utilize every moment. Make sure you are happy, genuinely happy in whatever state you are. I believe that is the greatest Thing we should all achieve yeah. okay the Buddha Buddha guy I'm coming Nadia I'm coming mm. Mm. so the Buddha Buddha guy has arrived I'm supposed to go I didn't finish my food Alhamdulillah, I'm so grateful for the experience.
so guys make sure you live a genuine happy life bye so guys this is the end of the video thank you so much for watching make sure you share this with your friends and family and bring in more subscribers thank you so much for watching and ma salam see you in the next video